Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model detailed voxel structure like this in just a few minutes. To summarize the steps, step one we first started by drawing the wireframe curves for the mass. Step two, we used these curves to generate a solid mass from it using the surface tools. Step three, we converted this mass into voxel structure. Step four, we created blocks with the same size as the faces of the voxel structure, then used Elefront plugin to orient these blocks through the exterior faces of the structure to have this detailed model. Okay, in this tutorial, we used three plugins. First, Elfront plugin, second, uh, Voxel tool plugin, and third, Block New Edit plugin. Uh, I will add all these plugins in the description. You can download all of uh, all of them from Food for Rhino for free. Okay, we will start first by drawing the curves for the form. Okay, after finishing drawing the curve, we'll start creating the faces from these curves. First, for the planner faces, we will use surface from planner curves. Okay, he's saying it's not planner. We will have to check where it's open. Okay, it's open from here. For this curved parts, we will use surface from two, three, or four edges. So here, here, okay. Yes. Okay, after we finish the modeling the mass, we will use Grasshopper to convert one face in, in each direction into block, then orienting this block in all the faces in the same direction.
Okay, first we will need to import the mass into Grasshopper, so we'll use prep component. Then to be able to create the voxel mesh, we need to create first a voxel grid. And the voxel grid need a bounding box from our mesh. Then we will insert the size of each voxel. I will make it three by three and, uh, the, and the height will be four meter. Now we can use this voxel grid and the brave component to generate the voxel geometry. I just use a mesh component to see the wires of the mesh. Okay, now I want to extract the mesh faces in each direction. So I will use voxel grid to mesh, mesh hole component. Then to select one face in each direction, I will first explode the mesh in each direction then using list item component to select only one face in each direction after that using face normal component to create a normal plane at the center of each face And then using the fine block component from El Front plugin to convert these faces into blocks. We need to orient these blocks into the faces in the same direction. So we will copy all this part, but remove list item component as we need all the faces. And then we'll use insert block component to insert these blocks in X, Y direction. Then if we used insert block components before baking the define block components, it will give you an error. So we have to bake the output of the define block component first, so we don't get any errors. Now we will use orient component to orient these blocks into the faces of the of the voxel structure. Okay, uh, there, there is an error here due to the tree, data tree structure, so we have to trim this output first. Now we have all the blocks in, in its right position. So all we have to do now simply is to bake this, this, the output blocks and start adding details to each block. So to give you an idea about it, if uh, now I bake the blocks, if I edited one block, all the blocks in the same direction are going to be modified too. To save time, I already modeled a detailed facade. We'll just copy and paste it onto the four different blocks.
if you are wondering how I am editing a nested block, you can check my Rhino block steps and tricks tutorials part 1 and part 2. I will add the link in the description below. Now, if we want to add some variation, we can select some blocks and use make unique plugin to convert them into unique blocks and start editing them. You can learn more about the make unique plugin in my reverse tutorials too. That's it for today, thank you for watching and have a great day.